Sarah Thomas swam the English Channel four times. Now that's a cool looking horn. A 74 year old Indian. It is about to hit before nestling themselves back. Hey family, hope you guys are doing great and safe. I'm back with another video. So fasten your seatbelts. Let's get started. Guys, I'm not sure where this video is coming from, but I think it's somewhere from Africa. Now imagine if there's nothing in that ball. Guys, keep your eye on this truck and you will witness the power of nature. This is all air that partially lifted the truck. Guys, just look at the size of this washed octopus on a seashore. Are these snapshots real? Don't forget to leave your thoughts. Guys, what kind of strange phenomena is this? This is river of fish, that too on sand. After looking at this, you might think this is a driftwood, like everyone else. But get ready for a surprise. Let's watch this video. Okay, that device you see plugged into the iPhone, that's my video transmitter. Now this is my video repeater. Basically it takes any video signal coming out of the iPhone and it boosts it, it enhances it. And I can take over any other video signal that I want that I put this close to. So what we're filming on the iPhone right now, I'm going to take, I'm going to put on one of these screens. I'm going to give you a demonstration of how this works. Good? Yeah? Yeah, got it. All right. Guys, this clip of Katy Perry went super viral in which she said she did that eye glitch on purpose. But I doubt it. Let me know your thoughts in comments below. What, what is amazing, Mom? Can you see this little pink girl here? The pink girl? You can't. No, I can't see the pink girl. Is she Chinese or Oriental? Chinese. Pardon me? Chinese. Or Chinese? Party flavor. Tiger. 
they're having a party. What kind of, is it a birthday party with kids? Who, who's having the birthday party? Oh, I, yeah, I don't know. Sarah Thomas swam the English Channel four times without stopping. One English Channel crossing is 21 miles in perfect conditions. Through all the twists and turns of the current, she swam about 81 miles in total. To fuel her body during the swim, she consumed 90% liquid diet. Every 30 minutes, her support crew would throw her a bottle attached to her hop. They weren't allowed to touch her at all during the swim or it wouldn't be considered an official crossing and around 30 miles in and Sarah started consuming caffeine for additional energy. She went on like this for 54 hours. After more than two days in the water, Sarah stumbled upon the beach. Her lips and throat were swollen from the salt water and it was nearly impossible to stand but she had done it. This is the super haunted clip which I found. Let's see what happens next. Guys, this tiny robot could easily remove blood clots from the brain without any external intervention. I have no idea about the location but this is actual road and while watching the clip the whole time I was thinking what happens if another car comes from the other side. Big shout out and special thank you to our supporters. Thor of the North Vikings, Mar Hamill, Moon Sunsets, Jean Lumber, DJ Double, Michael Belcott, Giselle Van, Miol, XX Nighthawks, Keith Anderson, TCF70, and Gitpick. You can also join the channel membership and get a shout out like this. Click on join button and check it out. If you think it's just sand in between your toes when you're at the beach, you might want to think again. These coquina clams pop up out of the ground to filter the water, and it just goes to show you never know what's hiding beneath you. The clams feed by filtering the seawater, rising above the ground just as a wave is about to hit, before nestling themselves back below the surface. A day at the beach is never going to be the same again. The baboons always have a secret supply of water, and they're not going to tell anybody where it is. But he has his own way of finding out where the water is. First, he laboriously drills a hole in a giant ant heap when he is sure a baboon is watching him because he knows baboons are incurably inquisitive. Next, he puts some wild melon seeds into the hole and the baboon doesn't trust that human being at all, so he plays it cool. But he's dying to know what gives in that confounded hole. Finally, Mr. Inquisitive can't take it any longer. He reaches in, grabs a fistful, and now his hand's too big to come out. still has to make him talk. Now he knows that salt is very scarce in this particular area and that baboon is going to eat those lumps like candy. And that in a little while he's going to be a mighty thirsty baboon.
He decides the brainwashing has worked. So he sets him free, knowing that in his condition, he won't care who follows him to the secret reservoir. The Mahal Khadi has no eyes for the beauty of the setting. To him, water is beautiful. Now that's a cool looking horn. A 74 year old Indian farmer suffering from a rare condition which caused a devil horn to start growing on his dome has finally had it surgically removed. According to India Today, Shayam Lal Yadav said his badass horn started growing on top of his head after an injury several years back. India Today reports that over time, the horn got bigger and bigger. Yadav thought it was a bit strange at first, but then he just got used to it and even started trimming it by himself. Hey, with all the time people spend doing their hair, might as well spend time fixing up that old horn if you got one. Yadav finally had the growth removed at the Bagyode Tirth Hospital in Sagar. According to India Today, surgeons from the hospital said Yadav suffers from a sebaceous horn condition which generally occurs on sun-exposed areas of the skin. Previous cases of devil horns have been known to appear on the face, ears, hands, and toes. Adventure YouTuber Brody Moss rescues a turtle stuck on remote mud flats, showcasing a thrilling journey of compassion and quick action. And this turtle for sure remembers him. That tide for weeks. The next spring tide is not for a week away. This guy will die out in the hot sun if he's there for another few days. I just need a rest. I almost there, mate. I'm sorry. We're so close. Can you do it? Oh. Oh. Yes! All the best, mate. We did it. Beer unexpectedly shown on roller coaster ride, which freaked out this woman. A kitten was saved thanks to a trucker and a cop. I just found a baby kitten in the middle of 441. Cars whizzed past, not noticing the tiny bundle of fur in the middle of the road. Florida's Alachua County Police Department says a truck driver helped to stop the traffic on a highway in order to keep the helpless feline from disaster. Body camera shows an officer walking down the road and scooping up the black and white kitten before radioing in about his adorable find. I just found a baby kitten in the middle of 441. After being removed from danger, the kitten went on another adventure, a ride in a police cruiser. According to authorities, the sweet kitten has decided to join the force. The little cat has found a forever home. Authorities began rounding up hundreds of monkeys in the Thai city of Lopuri. It's part of an initiative to control their numbers amid growing conflict between the animals and humans. Once a symbol of local culture and a major tourist draw, the monkeys have increasingly been seen as a menace. There's been a rising number of incidents where monkeys try to snatch food from people. That's why officials have come up with a plan to round up the estimated 2,500 urban monkeys and move them to large enclosures. But capturing them is easier said than done. Fruit is laid out as bait in cages. But the Rambutan ruse does not always work with the more wily creatures. คือในความฉลาดเรียนรู้ของลิงก็คือว่าถ้าเกิดว่าลิงตัวอื่นเข้าไปในกรงแล้วถูกจับไปได้ลิงตัวที่ยังไม่ได้เข้ากรงก็จ
been cleaned, sterilized and tattooed for identification and future tracking, before being transferred to a series of huge pens outside the town centre, where they'll be held until they're found permanent homes. The province hosts an annual monkey festival. Jamie Seymour shares what it's like to be stung 11 times by one of the world's most venomous species of jellyfish. The best way I can describe it is it feels, for, for me, having been down that path 11 times, it feels like someone takes a big elephant and sticks it on your chest so you can't breathe. I get severe pins and needles like someone's got a, a red hot poker and they're sticking it in the joints. He has what some people call the deadliest job on earth, milking sea creatures of their venom. Seymour leads a team of toxicologists at James Cook University, where dozens of poisonous marine creatures are kept, from jellyfish to stonefish. The stonefish's venom is powerful enough to kill humans, although there are no fatalities recorded in Australia. Seymour is among those who have survived its sting. The venom extraction process can be challenging. For the stonefish, researchers insert a syringe into a live fish's venom glands. They hold it with a towel as they withdraw a thimble full of the deadly fluid. They then send the poison to a facility in another state to be processed into a life-saving anti-venom. Can we find the next cure to cancer, arthritis, things of that nature? So it's sort of an open slather to do whatever you really want to. Then there's actually creating the anti-venom, which is a time-consuming process. A large animal, like a horse, is injected with small amounts of venom over a period of time, about six months, or enough time for the animal to produce natural antibodies. The animal's plasma is then removed and the antibodies are extracted. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I'll request you to please like the video, share with your friends and family, and post a comment. I'll see you in next video. Till then, take care. Peace. Bye-bye. God bless.